Hey guys, what about the TV? So today we're going to be reacting to to reacting to Sister Found Prophet Muhammad name in the Bible, emotional by Doctor Zaki Naik. <sighs> guys, this is actually my first time checking this guy. This one is recommended by you. So guys, this video actually sponsored by New Chick guys. Like you can see. They love my content and I want to share their clothes with you guys. Guys, when you make when you get any of the photos, guys, I promise you message me, I'm gonna give you a free shout out to my channel, guys. And I'm gonna post it on my handle so people can see how you love me and my content and the content that we act to. So please make sure you check them out, guys. The link is gonna be in my description below, guys. And you're gonna receive 15% bonus when you use my promo code, guys. Guys, let's get straight into this. Mics. We have a non-Muslim. Okay, go ahead, sister. Salam alaikum. I'd like to ask if you could shed some light on a verse in the Bible. It's the Old Testament, Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. It's the Hebrew text. Hiko mamitikim, wikulo Muhammadim. Zidude was a Ra'i Baine Jerusalem. I know that in English, Muhammadim has been translated to altogether lovely. What I'd like to ask is why do Christians not know that Muhammad has been spoken about in the Bible? Well, the sister asked the question. She's given the Hebrew of the verse of the Bible from Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16, which says, Hikko mamitakim vikulli muhammadim zaidudi zairai bayna Jerusalem. Which means, sister only translated one word, it means he's more sweet, he's altogether lovely, he's my beloved, he's my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. This is the complete translation of the Hebrew verse she quoted. And when it says, Muhammadim. Muhammadim, in the Semitic languages, when you give respect, you add him to it. Like Allah is for God, Elohim is respect for God. So, same thing to the name Muhammad, they add him. And it means, it says, Muhammadim. So if you read the original text, the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, is even mentioned in the Bible. Sister is asking, then why don't the Christians believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Sister, you should ask this question to the Christians. I asked this question to hundreds of Christians. Alhamdulillah, some of them accepted Islam. Most of them did not. So I agree with you that the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the scriptures of most of the major world religions, including Bible. And as I mentioned earlier, that not only is he mentioned by name, he is even prophesied in various different parts of the Bible. He is prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. He is also prophesied in the New Testament. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. In several places, sister. So that's what I asked to the Christian. If it's clearly mentioned about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then why don't they believe in him? Those Christians who really study and analyze and do research, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. The others who do not want to accept the truth and say, oh, I have been a Christian for 40 years. Now you want me to change my religion? So they are afraid. Many a time the ego comes in between. Many a time the society comes in between. Many a time, what will my friends tell me? What would my customers tell me? So these things prevent them from accepting the beauty of Islam. What they fail to realize, 
they wouldn't mind offending the creator just to please their family and their friends pleasing our creator is more important than pleasing your family and friends so those who realize the importance of creator importance of almighty god alhamdulillah they accept islam sister i would like to ask you that are you a christian or are you a muslim i've been studying islam for about six months mashallah so do you believe now that there is one god i do do you believe jesus is god peace be upon him no i don't do you believe prophet muhammad peace be upon the messenger of god yes mashallah so if you believe there's one god you believe prophet muhammad messenger of god and according to me you are six months of research yes <laughs> your six months of research have brought you to the truth sister pardon i didn't hear you <laughs> those are tears of joy yeah. alhamdulillah <laughs> when a person realizes the truth that's what even quran says that when people hear the verse of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the moment the believer tears roll from their eyes so these are tears of happiness and joy that you have found the truth as jesus christ peace be upon him said in the gospel of john seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you so i believe the truth has freed you today sister your six months of research has brought you to the truth Sister, would you like to accept Islam? <laughs> Sister, would you like to accept Islam? Yes. Is anyone forcing you? Absolutely not. You are doing out of your own free will? Yes. Inshallah, I say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. <laughs> Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. <laughs> Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Wa Rasuluhu I bear witness I bear witness That there is no God That there is no God But Allah But Allah And I bear witness And I bear witness That that prophet muhammad prophet muhammad is the messenger that is the messenger and servant of allah and the servant of allah servant, servant of allah mashallah sister you are a muslim and i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as he has guided you may allah make you a source to guide the other non-muslims towards islam and I pray to Allah to grant you the best in this world and the Akhirah and to grant you Jannah paradise, inshallah. Mm. Guys, one thing about, I like about him is the way he presents his point. Like, I don't feel he's trying to impose it on you. He's just telling you what, based on his research, what he knows and what he feels is the truth and like some facts he has brought up with like i love that fact that he's he's not trying to impose his religion and he's just telling you this is here this is here this is here do you choose to accept it and when he talks about christians that maybe people who have studied christians a lot like who have studied the religion a lot kind of switch to muslim i feel it's vice versa if you want to be honest they yeah, like there are a lot of muslims who have studied your religion a lot and actually converted to christians and so there are a lot of christians who have studied and actually convert to muslims so i feel everybody just have different point of view about religion as well we're going to come out with truth one day guys maybe when we all die or when god comes down to it guys like we don't know what we're gonna find out the truth one day and it's gonna be amazing but i feel it shouldn't be too late for some of us guys i don't know if you mean i don't know if it's you but it shouldn't be too late for some of us and one thing i kind of noticed in a long way this question will be dying in me but like why is it that you guys converted everything to english except allah 
Okay, you say Allah means God, but why don't you just call him God? Why do you still call him Allah? And I know someone wants to say you want to stick to the original testament, but I feel based on life and the century we are all like I feel the language accepted worldwide now is English and, and the Quran will actually be translated. Don't get me wrong. I know the original copy is still there, but like they have the English version of the Quran. But like, why is the name Allah still there? Like, why isn't it good? Please let me know in the comment section, guys. Like, check new check out. And those verses he quoted, I wanted to pause it and check it, but I feel you will make this video very long. So I'll go through it and maybe make say what I think in another video guys in my next video hopefully guys let's just like share subscribe to my channel guys as soon as I please sure to check your check the made this video possible